Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Mankind has always been attracted by the unknown. We want to know what will happen if, what is there? And one of those questions is how high the aircraft can climb. For this, scientists from all over the world began to create their own developments, setting new records. This became especially relevant as a result of the arms race, when it was very important to be superior to the enemy. Today, we want to show you a rating of 10 aircraft that were able to climb to maximum altitude with a turbojet engine. F-22 Raptor The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is a single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. The result of the USAF's Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, the aircraft was designed primarily as an air superiority fighter but also has ground attack, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence capabilities. The F-22 is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119-100 engines. The F-119-100 is a low-bypass afterburning turbofan engine, providing 156 kN thrust. Thrust vectoring is controlled by a Hamilton Standard dual-redundant full-authority digital engine control. The FADEC is integrated with the flight control computers in the BAE Systems Flight Control's Vehicle Management System. The service ceiling of the F-22 is 65,000 feet, 20,000 meters. English Electric Canberra the English Electra Canberra is a British first-generation jet-powered medium bomber. It was developed by English Electric during the mid to late 1940s. Throughout most of the 1950s, the Canberra could fly at a higher altitude than any other aircraft in the world. In 1957, a Canberra established a world altitude record of 70,310 feet meters. In February 1951, another Canberra set another world record when it became the first jet aircraft to make a non-stop transatlantic flight. Due to its ability to evade the early jet interceptor aircraft and its significant performance advancement over contemporary piston engine bombers, the Canberra became a popular aircraft on the export market, being procured for service in the air forces of many nations both inside and outside of the Commonwealth of Nations. M55 Geophysica The M55 is a high-altitude geophysical research aircraft developed by OKB Myasachev in the Soviet Union, similar in mission to the Lockheed ER-2, but with a twin-boom fuselage and tail surface design. It is a twin-engine development of the Myasachev M17 Stratosphera with a higher maximum takeoff weight. The M55 set a total of 15 FAI world records, all of which still stand today. On September 21, 1993, an M55 piloted by Viktor Vansikov reached a record altitude of 70,702 feet, 21,550 meters. The number of M55 Geophysica remain in service, performing in research roles. One M55 took part in a study of the Arctic stratosphere in 1996 to 1997, with similar experiments performed in Antarctica during 1999. Grumman F-11 Tiger The Grumman F-11 Tiger is a supersonic, single-seat, carrier-based United States Navy fighter aircraft in operation during the 1950s and 1960s. The F-11 was used by the Blue Angels flight team from 1957 to 1969. Grumman Aircraft Corporation made 200 Tigers, with the last aircraft being delivered to the U.S. Navy on January 23, 1959. The F-11 F-1 were equipped with J-65 W-4 engines with a thrust and non-afterburning mode of 3,540 kilograms. On the F-11 F-1F Super Tiger, to increase the altitude and speed characteristics, an engine with a thrust and non-afterburning mode of 4,990 kilograms intended for the F-104 Starfighter fighter was used. Thus, on April 18, 1958, the aircraft set a record for its service ceiling 
rising to an altitude of 76,938 feet, 23,451 meters. Lockheed U-2 The Lockheed U-2, nicknamed Dragon Lady, is an American single-jet engine, high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft operated by the United States Air Force and previously flown by the Central Intelligence Agency. It provides day and night, high-altitude, all-weather intelligence gathering. U-2s have taken part in post-Cold War conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq and supported several multinational NATO operations. The U-2 has also been used for electronic sensor research, satellite calibration, scientific research, and communications purposes. The service ceiling of modern models is about 78,740 feet, 24,000 meters. Although in the tactical and technical characteristics of the latest U-2S, the height ceiling is classified. Today, there are 35 aircraft in service, which are actively used for their intended purpose. MiG-31 The Mikoyan MiG-31 is a supersonic interceptor aircraft that was developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25. The MiG-31 continues to be operated by the Russian Air Force and the Kazakhstan Air Force following the end of the Cold War and the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The Russian Defense Ministry expects the MiG-31 to remain in service until 2030. A group of four MiG-31 interceptors is able to control an area of airspace across a total length of 500 to 560 miles, 800 to 900 kilometers. The MiG-31 is equipped with powerful D-30 F-6 engines, which allow the aircraft to reach a maximum speed of 1,864 miles per hour, 3,000 kilometers an hour, and climb to an altitude of 82,020 feet, 2,500 meters. SR-71 Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird is a long-range, high-altitude Mach 3 strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed and manufactured by the American aerospace company Lockheed Corporation. It was operated by both the United States Air Force and NASA. The SR-71 was the world's fastest and highest-flying air-breathing operational manned aircraft throughout its career. On July 28, 1976, SR-71 serial number 617962, piloted by then-Captain Robert Helt, broke the world record, an absolute altitude record of 85,069 feet, 25,929 meters. On average, each SR-71 could fly once per week due to the extended turnaround required after mission recovery. A total of 32 aircraft were built. FR Phantom II The McDonnell Douglas FR Phantom II is a tandem two-seat twin-engine all-weather long-range supersonic jet interceptor and fighter bomber, originally developed for the United States Navy by McDonnell Aircraft. It first entered service in 1961 with the Navy. Proving highly adaptable, it was also adopted by the United States Marine Corps and the United States Air Force, and by the mid-1960s had become a major part of their air arms. Beginning in 1959, it set 15 world records for in-flight performance, including an absolute speed record and an absolute altitude record, 98,556 feet, 30,040 meters. The F-4 was used extensively during the Vietnam War. It served as the principal air superiority fighter for the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps. F-104 Starfighter The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter is a single-engine supersonic interceptor aircraft 
which was extensively deployed as a fighter bomber during the Cold War. While its time with the USAF was brief, the Starfighter found much more lasting success with other NATO and allied nations. In October 1958, West Germany selected the F-104 as its primary fighter aircraft. Canada soon followed, along with the Netherlands, Belgium, Japan, and Italy. The Starfighter featured a radical design, with razor-thin, stubby wings attached substantially farther back on the fuselage than most contemporary aircraft. It was the first production aircraft to reach an altitude of 103,458 feet, 31,534 meters, after taking off under its own power. MiG-25 The MiG-25 is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft that was among the fastest military aircraft to enter service. It was designed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gurevich Bureau and is one of the few combat aircraft built primarily using stainless steel. It was the last plane designed by Mikhail Gurevich before his retirement. On August 31, 1977, the MiG-25 set the recognized absolute altitude record for a jet aircraft under its own power. It reached 123,520 feet at Pomoskovnoi USSR in Zoom climb. The aircraft was actually a MiG-25RB re-engined with the powerful R-15 BF-2300. It had earlier been part of the program to improve the aircraft's top speed that resulted in the MiG-25M prototype. That's all friends, thanks for watching! Write in the comments which of the aircraft you liked the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.